How will master modes affect the star citizen flight experience? That's the big question following the citizen con of this year, where the vehicle experience team explained how they plan to tackle high speeds in combat. There are a bunch of things still up for speculation, but there's a few things we know. Flight will be split up between SEM and QCM, and these are vastly different. SEM will see a hard speed limit that is the same for vacuum, thin atmospheres, dense atmospheres, and this is not something we've seen before. Additionally, the boost changes a little bit. Right now, all of the thrusters, the mains, the retros, the maneuvering thrusters, they all see the same multiplier when boosting. But in the future, only the mains, the rear thrusters get a lot of power and the other maneuvering thrusters are going to be a little weaker. So you can't lean down on them as much when we're boosting through the turns. It's going to promote more boost on the mains and focusing on turn and burning, if you can get there. QCM on the other hand is kind of unrestricted, the way you're used to it now when you're flying around. The only caveat is no boost. Now all of this is a big change for Star Citizen and how we experience flight. We're used to this really free and unlocked Newtonian flight model, where an ace pilot can overcome the overspeeding risks and really become a better pilot and we're losing that to some extent. We'll have to see how this all turns out, but it does look like there is an awful lot of focus on securing that pace of combat. I hope they're not forgetting about the real flight experience that Star Citizen brings and racing, of course. Think about approaching a space station. I like to do this pretty fast. You can still do this in QCM, of course, but I like to do a 180 turn as I'm approaching and burn to a stop. And that's not available anymore. I either boost and I'm slow or I'm fast and I can't boost. The truth is though, I actually like a non-boosted flight experience. One where you can always rely on your thrusters to provide the same amount of output. It's a lot smoother, it feels very immersive and very enjoyable. So maybe there is something to this SCM and I'll just fly around in QCM? Without really knowing all the details, we have to give it the benefit of the doubt. And I've wanted to experiment a little bit. What would SCM really feel like? I've went in game and I've tried it out to the best of my abilities. I tried to replicate SEM and QCM. For SEM, I would put my speed limiter on at 300 meters per second, which is right around where I expect most ships will fall. And then I would boost, temporarily turn off the speed limiter so I could overcome the speed. And then as soon as I stop boosting, turn the speed limiter back on, let the speed bleed back and continue flying. For QCM, very simply, turned off the speed limiter and flew unrestricted without touching boost. What we don't know yet is whether QCM has any agility, debuffs, nerves, whatever you want to call them. I'm hoping not because if so, forget about QCM altogether for a fun flight experience and it'll only be useful for straightforward navigation. Here's hoping they don't touch QCM beyond it, but I have good hopes. Flying around in vacuum zero G is where SEM really hits hard because in space you typically fly a lot faster. 300 meters per second is not fast. Uh, not even for a Pisces, right? You would go 400, 500, 600, but right now you can't. And so when I was racing around uh, the Everest Harbor racetrack, for example, it felt very strange because you're very slow when you're not boosted and then you have that really momentary speed increase while you're boosting but then when you let go you suddenly slow down again which is not something we're used to in zero g you're expecting that newtonian way of flight so having an arcadey thing slowing you down in space is very strange very odd and again it'll really depend on how they implement this slowdown if it's going to feel jerky or really gentle or what is the force is it your thrusters doing it i hope it's not like space break because with space break you actually lose control of your ship while it's slowing down so 
lots of questions there we haven't seen answered yet. Flying QCM then is practically what we're used to, uh, but you don't have boost. So that's something to content with. Feels really nice, feels really smooth. And here's the interesting point. Racing around Everest Harbor, I was faster in QCM, 10 seconds per lap, because the increased top speed outweighs the little bit of boost you get around turns. Because in vacuum, it just doesn't make up for it. Having that speed limit so low means that you are faster in QCM as opposed to SCM. And that begs the question, is this what CIG intended? Am I supposed to be faster in QCM while racing around a track or navigating? What are we supposed to race in, SCM or QCM? Because traditionally, combat was considered very much related to racing, which I still believe, but then with these new modes, suddenly it wouldn't fit in the same category, at least not in a vacuum. Yogi Klot mentioned that he expects racers to swap between modes, which is another interesting fact and raises more questions. How does the swapping work? Am I doing this on the fly? Am I able to do that? Am I constantly dropping my shields, getting back my shields, turning on my weapons, turning off my weapons? It all feels very arcadey, artificial, and a little odd. Uh, I'll have this restricted speed, and then suddenly I won't, and then I'll have the restriction again, and then I won't. But what if I'm doing 600 meters per second, and then turn on SEM? How is that slowdown going to feel? It's going to be very quirky. Uh, it's the only thing I can really describe it as. And uh, yeah, I've got lots of questions, but again, SEM slower in vacuum than QCM when we're racing around. It's a big one to remember. Let's now go to a thin atmosphere like the snake pit. It's a prime location. And this is interesting because flying SEM, we actually don't really go faster than the top speed in SEM. Not really. You're approaching a turn, you're just about reaching 300 meters per second. And I think this is exactly what Yogi meant, that if a track is tight enough, you won't even notice anything in, that, in SEM because it'll just feel really natural. This is how I experienced it. There are a few moments where you feel like your top speed is hampered while you're not boosting, but in general, it feels basically like you're racing like normal. Again, we don't know how the slowdown will feel and that's something left uh, up in the air for now. But when we go QCM, it feels again really nice. I've done some non-boosted racing before, which feels fun, but it isn't any faster. Simply again, because you don't overspeed, you don't reach speeds higher than SEM would. So the track times are about the same. SEM was actually about two seconds faster if I was just running a few laps. Something to remember. So now we go to an Earth-like, a dense atmosphere, Hurston very close to an earth like we've got the Lorval gateways track there it's a slightly larger track it's got two straights uh, and uh, not surprising QCM out one again on SEM with SEM you often are waiting because you are locked in your speed limit you don't have enough boost to go boosting around the track but you are also not able to go any faster so when we're flying QCM then you don't have that limit and around the straights you're making up for the time that you are slower in the turns. And I just feel like they're too close. The two modes are too contested. It's like, do I want SEM or QCM? Or again, is there something we don't know? And Yogi has got to tell us, the vehicle experience team has got to tell us, you'll be swapping in and out of these modes. But that's something I don't like. I want to do either because it just will feel too gimmicky, too gamey if I'm popping in and out all the time. One time I have a limit, the other time I don't. It's gonna feel weird and I, I just want one mode to work really well for racing and for hooning. Let's talk about that. Let's go to Daymar. It's a really thin atmosphere and a lot of people in the community are worried about hooning because you typically do it at a faster speed. For those wondering what is hooning, it means going across a planet really fast and just having fun roaming around and going at high speeds, turning around hills and canyons. And I gotta tell you, it still feels really good even in SEM. Typically, you're flying around 300 meters per second. There are moments where you're just waiting. You're sitting there at 300 meters per second and you're wondering, why am I speed locked? You know, it's a thin atmosphere. And if I just press QCM, suddenly I can go 600 meters per second easy but you lose that boost so you've got again that balance qcm feels great because you can go whipping fast but you have to rely on your normal thrusters or scm you're a little slower on the straights but you can turn around stuff quicker 
Still feels arcadey, not what we're used to. They both feel acceptable, but it doesn't feel like it was built for the general experience of spaceflight or racing. It feels like we want to slow down combat, and so you're going to have this speed limit. It doesn't feel real, it doesn't seem to fit really well. Will you still have fun? Yes, you will find your niche. But we need some answers. So before we can really make a conclusion on whether this is going to be a, a big disaster or not, I think we need answers. Uh, maybe we can get a Star Citizen live. Maybe we can get some more answers. And we really do need them. What are the top speeds going to be of these ships? Don't make a Pisces slower than a Razor. Don't make a Herald faster than an M50. All of these ships should be equally amounts of fun and have the ability to cruise around. A Pisces doesn't need to be slower, especially if we're talking about combat pacing and balancing. Why would a Pisces have to be slower? You would be applying even more artificial limits that kind of oppose the idea of bringing a balanced playfield. And you'd be nerving ships that don't need it because they are most likely already weaker. And a Pisces or any other relatively slow ship like an MPUV is still a lot of fun to race around these days. So be careful with that would be my recommendation. But we need answers. How is the slowdown going to be applied? Is it going to feel really jerky? Is it going to hamper your ability to control the ship? Or will it feel really gentle? This is really important to find out, especially in a vacuum where it will already feel quite artificial. I can imagine they have thought about it because it's rel related to combat, but we have to find out. A really other big one again is QCM. I really hope we don't see any agility related nerfs there. Don't make the ship fly more sluggish. Don't apply limits to rotation because as soon as you do that, and I cannot any more fly unrestricted without any limits. I mean, disregarding boost for a second, I don't know, that, that will ruin things. But I must admit, I personally think we will still have full agility and QCM without any limits applied to the ship other than the fact that we can't boost. So I'm hopeful there. Answers. If I cannot convince CIG to take it gentle with this and to make sure we still have fun with the flight experience and with racing and to limit the limits, I think it's going to be my responsibility to my fellow spaceflight enthusiasts that we need additional master modes. I know they're not planned, but think about it. If SCM is meant for or focused on combat and QCM is focused on quantum travel, there's got to be a middle ground there. I feel like there's a gap. Think about something like PCM, performance control mode, something that is just not usable in combat. Let that be used to get unrestricted speeds and boost, or even let it be a component that needs to be swapped out on the ground so you can't do it while you're in the air. SCM to me feels more like CCM, combat control mode. Give me SCM as a flight experience, fast, unrestricted thing, or call it PCM. Something to consider, but again, I think we need to relax, take a deep breath, and wait for answers.